What's your best tip for writing headlines? Mine, which my editors hate, is use alliteration. <laughs> I just, I don't know, I love it when I can write a headline with alliteration. Sometimes it just hits you. Our cover story was about a professor who's doing a lot of great work to preserve the Cape Fear River. You know, he's crusading for the Cape River and the Cape Crusader just kind of came and I said, well, that's just perfect. I, I can quit now because I, I, I can't beat that one. I love headline writing. I hate writing headlines, but my tip is do a brainstorm. I'll just start writing down different things and that kind of gets my brain going. I also send different options to our designer too to say, hey, what do you like? You know, what works for you? Eventually, we hit on the right combination. I always look to, whether it's the subject of the story or other faculty or alumni I speak to for stories that we do, what do they say? More often than not, the final headline that we settle on is either verbatim or based on something that someone said to us. What's your best tip for writing headlines? I think you've got to get up from your desk and walk around and be open to changing the headline. That's the other thing. People get locked in. Be silly. Um, get some people in a room, throw some things around, try to make each other laugh. And a lot of times, uh, really good ideas will come from the nonsense. I tried to, you know, do my own brainstorming that I was taught about in journalism school and to read the story and try to understand the story. But then I'm also completely open to bouncing ideas off of people around me, particularly designers and others who are involved with the story to help come up with something good. Don't be cliche. Try to think harder, but be creative while you're doing it at the same time.